You know what, does Rihanna have she a does. fragrance line? So do you think Rihanna wears her fragrances? She probably does. Now yeah, she smells yummy. What kind of pussy wash does she use? Hey, hunty! Y'all, okay, sorry guys, I totally forgot to turn on the camera. I was supposed to do my whole makeup routine, like the primer I use. You know what I'm saying? I have to link everything for you guys, but I've just been scrambling this morning. I'm wired on coffee. By the way, this is Venti, wait, what is this, Shanae? Venti, um, hold on, no. Venti Caramel Macchiato with almond milk. It's so good. That's why I'm speaking so fast right now. Yummy. So this is my list today. I have a list of three things and I had to write it down because I have ADHD and I'm also wired on coffee. Like number one, I have to pick up a bunch of hygiene products because I need to smell like fall now, not like a flower. I need to pick up some perfume because Aya broke my fragrance, my fragrance that I love so dearly. I can't do my makeup and talk, but I'm going in with my, <laughs> I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Foundation, okay? Pro Filter 385. So anyways, this right here, I have a beard, so I have to. <laughs> and I pick my ingrown hairs. Don't judge me, judge the baby, okay? I grow beards while I'm pregnant. It's the hormones, you guys. I have pigmentation, so what I do is, is I cover up the pigmentation, the dark spots on my face with my NARS Caramel um, Radiant Concealer. It's so good, and I just do a little spot treatment, let it dry, and then the pigmentation, it disappears, okay? So let me go ahead and finish my makeup, but I have a few things that I need to talk about, so let's just do a little chit chat. Get ready with me, I guess, you know, just a little bit. So Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion, airs this week i believe and my name is in everybody's mouth <laughs> literally just kidding i did not know i was gonna be in that season of real housewives of atlanta like been there done that i had no clue i was gonna be a part of the show but clearly they need me you know what i'm saying i guess the Drew and Latoya kiss was brought up and Drew was denying the kiss and then Marlo texted me talking about, you know, Drew was dragging your name through the mud and talking so so much crap about you and I'm just so confused. So she's messaging me all these things and I don't know what to think because it was late at night and all of a sudden I'm on the show. What the hell? Like So when everyone got wind that I was in one of the scenes, all of the RHOI fans were like, oh my gosh, Latoya, like we need you back on the show. Is this official? Are you a peach holder? Are you a friend? Like what is it? I don't care what it is, but Latoya, come back, right? I've been seeing a lot of comments about Marlo and I saying that you didn't even know that we were cool, we were friends. Marlo and I never had beef, you know? I invited her to events, she invites me to events. You know, we both have so much in common. We are both Aquarius, we both have the same birthday. She always speaks highly of me, you know, in every setting. And I know that because whenever I have conversations with the other girls, they're like, oh my gosh, Marlo always hypes you up. She bigs you up. She calls you a real authentic Aquarius. She's a hothead like me. Yeah, we both act on things before thinking. It's like, she acts like a crazy Caribbean lady like me, okay? We never had beef. When she told me that Drew was basically dragging my name through the mud and you know, talking all this sh shit about me, Marlo actually sent me a video of Drew talking all this crap. I was annoyed and upset, so I sent those videos to Drew, and Marlo was kind of pissed off that I sent it to Drew. She was like, those videos were for you, so you can see how Drew truly feels about you, how she's not your real friend, how she's going into these, you know, group settings and talking about you and slandering your name. That wasn't for Drew. Now I understand that, but I was connecting with Drew on another level. Like we were building a friendship. If I'm building a friendship with somebody, I want to be open and honest 
And if you didn't want me to send those videos to Drew or anybody else, you just shouldn't have sent it to me, right? Because I don't like fake shit, number one. And number two, Drew and I were really trying to do lunches together, you know, have play dates with the kids and stuff. Seeing those videos of Drew, it really hurt my feelings. And so, although Marlo was, you know, giving me the heads up, I was really hurt seeing those videos. So I sent those videos to Drew because Drew, like, we're building a bond here. We're building a friendship. And if I'm cool with you and something like that comes to me, I wanna address it. I wanna talk about it. Where was your state of mind? What were you on? Were you drunk? Maybe so, because there was a bunch of alcohol in that room, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes in those situations, I say things that I don't mean, and I'm not taking up for Drew, but I understand her position when your back is against the wall and people are hounding you with a bunch of questions, you kind of want to redirect the conversation, but she redirected it on me, you know what I'm saying? And I wasn't there, I wasn't in whatever country they were in to defend myself. And so that kind of hurt my feelings. And you know, Drew and I had a conversation about that. We are past that and hopefully we can continue a friendship. Is the trust broken? Hmm. There's a little bit of, you know, I'm open to figuring it out. And I understand that friendship, relationship, it's not perfect. You're always going to have issues and I'm willing to give it another chance. Marlo, on the other hand, I don't think she Fs with me at all. <laughs> because honestly speaking, Marlo, this is a message directly to you. You say that I'm a real person. You say that I'm authentic and real. Any real person would have sent those videos straight to Drew. That's thug shit. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not hiding. I'm not hiding at all. Like, this is what Marlo sent me. Hi, Drew, and this is what I sent to Drew. I sent Drew a video of her. That's it. I think that's as real as it can get. Maybe Marlo ain't real. You want me to hide and keep those videos to me? Absolutely not. Hunties, what would you do if you were in my position? Like, honestly speaking, if one of your friends sent you a video of somebody that you were trying to build a relationship with talking shit about you would you send those videos to that person would you ghost that person would you want to have an open dialogue with that person like what would you do in that situation comment below let me know i had a terrible season when i was on the show i'm not gonna lie number one I think I was supposed to be a peach holder. Here I am on this show, you know, coming from YouTube. I'm a girl that has creative control over my content. And here I am just putting it all out there and actually being vulnerable. And I was going through a very hard time back then because I was going through a divorce, um, which is all I need to really say because divorce is huge. We have three children together, you know, we have a decade of a relationship and a marriage, you know, and throwing me in that show wasn't the right time or place because I wasn't there mentally. And so I felt like I had to turn up in certain situations just to show more of my personality. You know, like what will Latoya really do in this setting you know i didn't allow the girls to intimidate me of course i was a bit nervous trying to figure out um, my life behind the scenes because i couldn't really confide in the girls because the producers didn't care about what i had going on i was just a friend of the show whenever i would try to talk about my personal issues they'd be like wrap it up wrap it up wrap it up next point next point you know so i feel like me being a friend on the show was small time for me and I'm big time. So I needed a full time position. Me having a storyline, I feel like I need it. To top it all off, I was dealing with their drama too. And I don't even know how to handle my own drama. Like this is the first time ever experiencing such a tragic, you know, experience going through divorce. It wasn't the right time for me to be thrown in to a pack of wolves, it really wasn't. But no, I, I'm good now and I think that I'd be able to 
hold my own this time. So if y'all want me back in the show, just call me. That's it. Clearly you need me, okay? A lot of people ask me like, how did you even get that position on the show? Before I moved out to Atlanta, I was like, oh my gosh, when we move to Atlanta, I am gonna be on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. I manifested this into my life. I'm just gonna say that because when I moved to Atlanta, the next month, I met up with one of my friends, Ming Lee. She's like huge out here, snob life, big in here. She sells hair products. She, she's a boss, okay? Um, I went out to eat with Ming Lee at Old Lady Gang. And here we are sitting downstairs at Old Lady Gang and all of a sudden, Ming Lee was like, oh, hey, candy girl. So I turn around, I'm like, oh my God, that's Candy Burris from The Real Housewives of Atlanta. I didn't fangirl because, you know, people fangirl over me. No, I'm just kidding. But she sat down and we just, we just clicked. Candy is so cool. She's so down to earth, authentic, relatable, supportive. Like she was interested in what I had going on. She wanted to know more about like YouTube and like how to build a following. And, and we just hit it off, we clicked. I remember after brunch, Candy was like, we, no, we took a photo and I was like, okay, so Candy, should I airdrop this photo to you? She was like, no, girl, just text it to me. I was like, oh, just text it to you. Like, I'm not the type of person to be like, oh girl, what's your number? So I can send you the photo. I'm like, okay, I'll airdrop it. And she was like, no, just text it to me. And then a few months later, I was like, Candy, I would love to have you on my YouTube channel. And she was like, okay. I was like, okay. Okay, all right, she was like, come to my office and interview me, I was like, all right. And I was pregnant with Aya at the time. I interviewed her and she was like, Latoya, you need to actually be on the show. I was like, really? So put a word in for me, girl. And then two twos, the casting peeps called me up. I interviewed for the show in 2019, didn't get it because they didn't want to put stress on me and the baby, that was what they said. And then the following year, during the pandemic covid i was on real housewives of atlanta as a friend so thank you so much candy candy and i are friends till this day and i'm also cool with kenya a lot of people think kenya is just so mean and so toxic but kenya and I, we understand each other because she's an Aquarius like me, you know? Whenever I need something and vice versa, we hit each other up and we're always there for each other. So Kenny and I have a good relationship that way. Kenny and I bonded over both of us going through a divorce, you know, both of us having children. We just, we had like a big sister, little sister relationship where I would just do funny things all the time and she would just crack up and I feel like we both needed that in our life just someone to just hang out with let her hair down talk shit not take anything too seriously and just have fun so it was all just kicks and giggles with Kenny and I and I don't know we just really had a good time I enjoy hanging out with Kenya I hung out with her at the Beyonce concert and it was fun I'm doing way too much and I don't even know why I'm beating my face right now. Like I'm only running errands around the hood. I'm not doing any events today. I'm not going to any events, a date. Why am I doing full eyeshadow? Y'all know I don't even do eyeshadow like that. These lashes are way too dramatic. So anyways, I'm gonna go buy some lashes and I'm not doing Lily lashes again because they're quite expensive and I just need a bunch of just natural lashes. So anyways, let me put some blush on real quick. L-Y-S blush. <laughs> One of my friends own this brand, L-Y-S. L-Y-S stands for love yourself. It's black owned. And this blush is called Empower. Okay, let's go to Ulta. Aya's not coming with us today because, woo, she's a piece of work. You know, she wants to touch everything in the store. One time, we were in Sephora. She had a bunch of, she was doing the samples and doing her makeup with the samples. She took the samples to the car. So she stole from Sephora. I had to take the samples and bring it back into Sephora. Just, she's a piece of work. But now she knows. She knows that we have to pay for things first. <laughs> and then she can open up her little snacks and stuff. But I usually slows me down 
when I'm running errands. So she's with two, three right now. She's not in daycare right now because the daycare that she was in, it wasn't really educational based. She was coming home just saying all these slang words like, yo, bro. <laughs> And although I say those things, I try not to say those things around my kids. Again, they watch my content. I could have gotten it for me. She's a Virgo and she does what she wants, when she wants, how she wants. It's her way or no way. If it's not her way, she'll throw a tantrum. If I tell her no, she'll throw a tantrum. And so we're just working, working on it day by day. Aya's birthday is in a few weeks, two weeks at that. Her birthday is on September 11th, 2019. Yeah, so she's a piece of work. Samia's birthday is on October 12th. Samia wants to go on vacation for her birthday. Aya really doesn't care. All she wants is her nails done, her makeup done, and she wants a pink dress. That's it. I might do a little sleepover for Aya with one of her friends or a few of her friends. We'll see. But do I really have to do a birthday party? So we have to plan some birthdays and I just don't feel like it. I don't, I'm just tired. I, this pregnancy just has me drained. Low key, I just, I think Adam will plan it. Like if I, I always say I'm not gonna plan things, right Shanae? And the last minute, I always plan something. These kids better recognize and learn that they have it good out here, okay? How does my butt look? Good? Bootylicious. Hey! Does it look like a pregnant butt? They're saying bump in the front. This is that. Right. Okay, what are we getting? Hi. I'm overwhelmed. All right, let's get a cart. I'm looking for a color corrector, Shanae. Oh, you work here? Yes. Oh, hi. I, um, I'll say there's a color collector right down here. Do you just have like the orange one? Um, Elf just has the orange one um, Elf? right there. Well, what do you want it to do? You just want it like... So I have blemishes on my face? So you, yeah, you want the orange ones. Okay. So wait, how would this one work with all the colors? I was about to say you can use that one or that one. So that would like probably neutralize it. And that's that's kind of like a peachy, a peachy color, but it's still what color corrected the dark spots. Okay. This looks advanced. This looks too advanced to me. Yeah, I was like, I'll just color. get this right here. <laughs> One color and we out. We good to go. And, oh, sorry, I need a sharpener. I tried to use the one that my kids use for their pencils, and I totally effed up my pencil, my um, oh, yeah, it's not the same. lip liners. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, so where are the liners? Okay. I always lose my liners, my lip liners, but I love, wait, is this one open? Oh yeah. So there's nutmeg from NYX, so good. Then there's one that, brown, I love brown. <laughs> I know, I just love brown lip liners. I love a matte look and a glossy look. So the Dior lip gloss that I've been wearing, it's so bomb. I have it on right now, what do you think? And then I need some matte NYX lip smoothers where is it at no not ah not butter gloss is it here okay okay so i need to pick up some soft matte finished lip acorn this is the one that i usually get abu dhabi abu dhabi so bomb want to see how it looks mm -hmm. love that like a pinky nudie color shanae can you help me like my baby is in the way and i can't i can't see it's affecting my sight that seems supposed to be good con mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Do they have a sample? This one looks too ashy for this me. This would oh, be nice if you wanted to do like a gloss on top. Now, girl, you know I don't do okay. pink anything. Didn't we come in here for hygiene? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, do you want to say hi? Say hi to everybody. Hi, Jamie. House of... Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, Jamie. House of glam. She's the best. Tell them who you are. The magic maker. <laughs> so the world knows. The yeah. magic maker, bruh. Okay, anyways, back to what we're doing. Oh, I need one of these. What? Yo, this is $54.99. They got me messed up. Okay, yeah, I want a brown sugar scrub. Oh, look at this. Shea sugar scrub. Should I try this? Oh, that smells good. 
Smell this. Hunty, smell this. Bomb, right? Mmm, I wanna eat it. I love that. Since this one was open and it had scrub on the side, somebody probably put their hands in it. Should I get a different one? Tree Hut Vitamin C Shea Sugar Scrub reveals brighter looking skin. Love that. So I'm gonna get that. See, look, hygiene. I need a good conditioner, so I don't know what my weave wants. Can anyone recommend something? Okay. Treatment mask. Let's try that. And this one is treatment mask, definition and curl. No, we'll get this one. And then um, I think that's all I need. Oh, look. Should I get this? Macchiato? Oh, it's a tester. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh that's pretty. Oh, yeah, that's good. Juvia's place? That's pretty. I'm getting that. Macchiato. Look at this from the coffee shop brand. Pretty, right? Oh, my gosh. Should I get another one? No. I have one that's similar to this color. Um, who is it by? Fenty Beauty. Should we check out Fenty Beauty real quick? You know what? Does Rihanna have a fragrance sign? Is it in a brown bottle? Because um, yeah. Fenty, they sent me a fragrance and it says it has my name on it. Oh yeah, I have to get another one of these. And this is my favorite one. Fenty Glow. Am I getting too much stuff? They have perfumes here. Y'all are fragrance girls? Uh, yeah, all of y'all. Are y'all fragrance girls? And if so, let me know your favorite fragrance in the comments below. So do you think Rihanna wears her fragrances? Probably does. Yeah, she smells yummy. What kind of pussy wash does she use? Can we Google that? I could Google it. Because, I mean, mine smells like peaches, but I think for the fall, I want it to smell like, um... <laughs> Barbados? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> See, we have two body care stuff. That's it. We're gonna get some more hygiene at Sephora. So this baby is weighing down on one of my organs. Yeah. Fragrances, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm very picky when it comes to scents. You know, when you're pregnant, your scents are heightened and so you can smell everything and a lot of scents give me headaches. So I'm very picky when it comes to my stuff. So usually when I pick something, everyone loves it because it's like the perfect smell. Hi, Melissa. So what I'm looking for is a fall smell, moody smell, like sexy but not too strong. So I like Byrido. B-Y-R-E-D-O, gypsy water. That's what I usually wear. Yeah, so I'm looking for something similar for the fall. Yeah, the gypsy water is like, it's a woody smell. Does that make sense? This will have, a, it's a um, wooden bees vanilla. Okay, so it's wooden. wooden bees vanilla, lavender and bees vanilla. Oh. You can, it's also real layerable. So it's layerable, mm -hmm. so you can I'll mix. Layer, I'll layer it with a brand new, or fresh from Chanel. So I'll put these two together. So that girl is stealing fragrances. <laughs> we have a thief in Sephora, y'all. I, I like this one, huh? That's why they keep walking by yeah. it because they're keeping Yeah, 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 get her, get her. That was a good, so this is the Burberry Goddess. Okay, so let's smell this again. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> So we're getting Goddess Blueberry. Can you get this from your girlfriend? <laughs> she, she walked past me and was like, yeah, I'm getting this one too. <laughs> she said. <laughs> okay, I'm loving that Burberry Goddess. I'm gonna stick to that for now. There's just way too many scents and my nostrils are getting confused because I'm pregnant. I'm looking for a um, foot scrub, mask, um, body wash. I like more natural scents like eucalyptus stuff okay so you have body scrubs yeah so we'll try buff rider okay riri so what is this known for just like hydration yes and it's a uh, whipped argan oil okay can we look a little, not natural scents, a little more sweeter so y'all just want me to break the bank up in here can we go to target can we go to walmart up in here We're shopping. We're shopping. Do you think I can get my own show? 
<laughs> oh my god, really? <laughs> um, he also has oh, a bronzy that's what one I'm as well. About. But yeah, we're still fall out of it. Mm. So okay. where has it? Can we pick that up today? Um, we, y'all, we're happens. gonna have to you pick it up today. To okay, so can we look up on Sephora if they have the Patrick Ta at another Sephora in the ATL because we have plenty of them. Okay, we're back. Now, I, you wanna be in it? Okay, come sit down with me. And I'm gonna show you guys all of my products that I picked up and from Sephora. Sephora. Sephora and, and Ulta. And I also went upstairs and got. Mommy, I already want to see my play. Oh my gosh, she wants it to be her show, but it's actually my show. Y'all, I'm in my hygiene era, okay? A girl gotta smell good in the fall. So I had to run upstairs real quick and grab these two hygiene products that I love so much. The first one is my body wash. Nobody can tell me anything about this body wash, okay? This is not sponsored, they're not paying me, but if you're watching, you can at least Give me some free products, you know what I'm saying? And I got you on a promo. This is from Amazon, B1 Organics. It's a tea tree oil body wash with peppermint oil in it, and it's organic. I love it, my skin feels so soft every time I use it. So this is the body wash that I currently use. Okay, so Rihanna made this Fenty Beauty perfume for me. It says my name on it right here it's it's my brand it's called latoya by fenty beauty you can pick that up it smells <laughs> so good whenever i come out the shower i just spray it it's like a body spray it's not too strong like a perfume you know it smells so good love that so if you want to smell like myself and rihanna mm -hmm, this is it right here and i'm just so excited to try all of these new products for fall that I picked up from Sephora and Alta. And by the way, Melissa was so great um, in Sephora. She recommended a few of these products. So shout out to Melissa. Does mommy smell good? Smell me. She's smelling my breath. <laughs> so I got this Tom Ford shimmering body oil. Love this so much. I didn't love the price, honestly, but apparently this is the shimmering body oil that you need. So I recommend it because I tried it in the store and I fell in love with it. And also the one by Patrick Ta was sold out everywhere. Online, in stores, it was sold out and that one's, you know, half the price. So the girls are running to get the Patrick Ta one. They're not spending their money on this one. And I wouldn't have either, but I really need a shimmering oil and I'm happy that they had this one in stock. It was the last one. I also picked up a highly recommended body lotion by Fenty Skin. Okay, excited for that. I'll open it later. Oh, okay, so I am not replacing my body wash, but I'm gonna try this quay body cleanser trending it's popular everyone's using it i will give you an honest review after but i mean if everyone's using it it should be good right oh yes okay yeah, yeah. i picked up this tree hut vitamin c sugar scrub shea sugar scrub it reveals brighter looking skin i'm excited to exfoliate my body in the shower especially my feet okay i don't always love getting pedicures because they're quite expensive i can give myself a pedicure I got my shoes. oh what is this aya spray water <laughs> it's spray water yeah this is marshmallow addiction marshmallow. by zara i think i purchased oh no i got this for samia mommy samia wanted did, this mommy did a slime Mommy, it smells it's, like apples. Mom, mommy, did it slime? Oh, no, it's not slime. It's body scrub. But mommy. Okay, no more. Mommy, Anyways, you guys. Yeah. Oh, look. So I picked up this hair mask by Pattern Transition Mask Nourish and Heal. I'm excited to try this. It's by Tracy Ellis Ross, and I just love the packaging. 
on this. I'm excited. It's black owned. Let's look at it. I didn't really see the texture of it. Oh, it's like a jelly. Mommy, let me smell it. Smell it. Like jelly. <laughs> yeah, it smells like jelly. Anyways, you guys, this is what I picked up, all of my hygiene products. And I'm excited to try everything. And when I do, I will give you an update on how everything goes. If I love it, if I hate it, if I return it, girl, you will know. Okay, but so far, so good. I feel like I picked up some really good products. And they were recommended by Melissa and my assistant and Jamie. They were like, yes, these are great products. So we'll see. I will be the judge of that. Anyways, hunties, be sure to subscribe to my channel, thumbs up the video, and comment below what is your hygiene routine, what hygiene products are you loving right now? Share them with us in the comments below. Bye!